Are you paying the bills or me? Y'all, I'm going to see Wizkid. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to thank God. I just got home. Papa! Hi, Papa! Hi! Hi! Hi, Vivi! Hi, Vivi! <laughs> Hi! Good boy! Pa! Pa! Good boy! <laughs> Happy Saturday. It is Saturday. It's actually the day after Black Friday. Um, I wanted to vlog this Thanksgiving and Black Friday, but Shanice was staying with me last week when we were all celebrating Mona's birthday. She actually, she accidentally took my camera with her back to Texas. So she had to ship it back to me. So I just got it today. So I didn't get to vlog um, Thanksgiving but me and Mona cooked a beautiful meal for ourselves and for her brother Julius who came over and yeah it was like so cute I did a little reel so it was giving low vibrations but it was still giving bougie it was still giving good taste cuz you know I got good taste you know we got good taste um and it was just immaculate like and it was a great evening you know we had our wine we watched some TV we made TikToks. it was really cute so Thanksgiving was great so did that Thursday, then Friday I did some online shopping for Black Friday. I shared some deals on my Insta story. I got some really cute stuff at a cute little discount and I'm so happy cause yeah. I actually can't wait for that to come. I am literally want to like wait outside like on the mailman, like where's my package? And then today I went to Ikea! So I'm about to do an Ikea haul. Period. Your girl needed some stuff. Um, I definitely, definitely, definitely needed a rug. So I actually got a rug. This is that's literally right here. I'm so excited because it's been about like a month and some change since I've had a rug because I had to toss the last one. Actually, it's been like two months. And I hate the way my apartment looks with no rug in here. And I think it's just because I got used to it looking a certain way with a rug so without it just looks incomplete to me so i'm really excited i want to do a little ikea haul and i want to show you what i got i didn't get like a ton of ton of stuff i spent around like 300 dollars. i think 312 dollars they weren't really having a sale on anything but if you're an ikea member they had like signs all up all over the store if you're an ikea family member you get 5% off of everything every single time you visit the store. That's new. I've never seen them display that before. FYI, you guys, if you have the IKEA card or whatever, scan that thing into your Apple wallet and have it in your Apple wallet because that's so much more convenient than actually having the card on you or remembering the serial number or having it written down somewhere in your phone, which I used to, and then it would be like hard for me to find it. When I learned that you could just scan it, like you could put it into your Apple wallet so it's like one of your cards in your wallet. And then you just scan your little barcode. Yeah, it was super easy. I needed a muffin pan, so I got a muffin pan because I have some protein um, muffin powder, like protein, protein powder muffin mix. That's what it's called. So I wanna make protein protein muffins that I can eat in the morning before I go to the gym like something a lot quicker than like like making myself food and then I got a like sheet pan so you know I like to make myself little cookies and stuff seasonal things here and there vlogmas is coming up so I know I'm gonna be making myself Christmas cookies so I figured I'd go ahead and get one of these because I did not have one another kitchen item I just got this little brush for cleaning the inside of bottles and whatnot it has a suction on it so i can suction it um inside of the sink if i want to and then i got a lint roller i thought i had one of these um somewhere in my house but i guess i don't and you always need one of these like there are times where my clothes be looking a little linty and i and i need this and it comes in clutch i'm always getting tea like candles you guys know every single time i go to ikea i get like as many as i as i want i'll get 10 of them if i need to but i saw these really cute little 
tea light they're like matte black tea light candle holders so obviously i'll peel off the sticker because that's not going to stay on this is what it looks like very simple very cute just little matte black i love these and i also love these that i have from ikea these are like perforated you see so cute i love these so much when china was here last week she got wax all over my bath mat so i got a new bath mat because i like to have four of them like i'll usually have two out at a time i got a squeegee little thing to clean my mirror i'm gonna windex it and then squeegee it down so i don't have streaks and lines because right now i have streaks and lines all over my mirror and it bothers me so much um i film all of my hair videos in my room and i want a little like trash bin next to my desk so i just got a white trash bin to have in my room only paper and like hair and dry stuff is gonna go in here look at how many <laughs> look at how many candles i got y'all ah! i love the tea light candles from ikea because they're scented i feel like you can find tea light candles on amazon you can find them pretty much anywhere but they're not scented and they're not cute scents not like the ikea ones so the first one i picked up was apple i believe this is like a green apple it doesn't say on here but it said on the display perfect for fall so i got two of those this one looks like it's berries but it's like a buried like compote or something it smells super super fruity and sweet i really like it i only got one of these i got three of this one because they're purple and my favorite color my favorite color is lilac and i thought it was a cute way to incorporate the purple the color purple into my decor Woo! the next things that i got i got two throw blankets the texture on it is so freaking pretty it's really really soft and yeah this is a throw blanket i'm thinking i'll probably have this one on i mean i kind of got both of them for my bedroom to be honest like i have a duvet cover that's like similar to this like taupey color and i thought that this would be a cute throw blanket to have on top of that when my bed is made benson you want to smell it so bad what does it smell like he's so distracting anyway i got that i got both of them for my bedroom but i wouldn't be surprised if you see them on my couch honestly because i like lounging on my couch too and then the other one that i got is also super cute look at it it's like a knitted it's really soft it's in this gorgeous mustard color i have i feel like this it's like a mustard gold so this obviously matches my chairs in the back it also matches my mirror my mirror is like framed in like a goldy brass color and it's literally the same color but then i also have a duvet cover from amazon that's this exact same shade so i could also use this as a throw big throw blanket on my bed and then for my balcony i got a mat like a doormat just for right here by the door because i have um patio decking all from ikea as well like i have grass and i have the wooden patio decking out there but there is like a space where the door is so that the door can open and close but i feel like this is thin enough to where i could still have this there and then as i was nearing checkout they have like a they have like a section i forgot what it's called in ikea but it's like the barely used items i feel like it's items that were used in the showroom but then obviously when they swap out things or things get damaged slightly or you know they're just a little bit used they'll put them in that section so you can buy them at a discounted price so as i was walking past that section i saw this really cute vase look at it it's super tall so like it can sit on the floor and i'm thinking about putting some pompous in it but i'm gonna do a little cute diy project with this and i'm gonna film it and put it i don't know if it'll be a part of a vlog or if it'll be like an instagram reel slash tiktok but either way i'm gonna be filming my little diy project with this but i do plan on like customizing it a little but i got this for 20 bucks so i thought that was really cute it's only 30 dollars, but 10 dollars off is always a cute little steal and then the last thing literally the thing that i went to ikea for like i didn't go to ikea for none of this stuff 
I obviously was like, I'm gonna see stuff and I'm gonna want other things. But I went to Ikea for this truck, okay? Benson is past his potty training stage. He does not use the bathroom in my house anymore, ever. He goes outside, he goes on the grass, he knows where to go in the bathroom, he knows where not to. But my last rug went through it. And it was like, it was a used rug anyway, but it was like lightly used. So I, I was kind of okay with, you know, I was okay with the idea of like, I'm gonna eventually have to get rid of this, like replace it because it's just been through too much. And that rug went through a lot. Like he did, he used it a ton of times. In his, in his training stage of like him trying to figure out when and where to use the bathroom and stuff, he literally like violated that carpet. So that carpet had to go. But I wasn't sure, like it took me a while to figure out what kind, okay. It took me a while to figure out what kind of rug I wanted in replacement of that because that was a light color like I don't know if you guys remember it was like cream and it had like some gray um, accents in it so it kind of went with my couch and everything but I wasn't sure if I wanted another light colored rug just because he is like a dog and I'm gonna end up you know having to clean it more and stuff like that so I was going back and forth because I want a light rug because my floors are dark and my cabinetry is dark and my, and my couch is a dark gray. So I would like a light colored rug so that I could like brighten up the space. But in reality and like lo logistically, it doesn't make sense to have one. But I think that it's still gonna be really nice. I'm really excited. I wanna open it up right now so we can see what it's giving because I'm so anxious. But also like the sun is setting. But yeah, that's everything that I got from Ikea. I want to change my couch now. Jesus! I already wanted to change my couch, but this just confirms it. Okay. So you're cool with the rug? I like the rug. I do wish they had a bigger size, but it's like I could either like this and it would be short on that side. Well, it could just, you could turn it for now and it'll just be a temporary fix until you change your couch. Or just leave it like that. Like this, or should I just center it and it just be short on both sides? But isn't that, that the couch from your studio? Yeah. So didn't you just have it moved a different way? Yeah. You had it set up differently, so how about you just set this up to be smaller? Oh, shoot, Mona. You might gotta I. <laughs> you? I'm screaming. I could put it in an L shape. Oh, that's gonna change up the space. Oh, that's giving a different vibe. This is gonna be so confused. <laughs> what it's looking like did you move the gold thing yeah oh you can't see it Perfect. wait let me do the don't sit on it the back oh you can't do zoom out it works right here like this it is perfect this is perfect right here because it's centered but i'm saying if i move the mirror which i'm gonna want to do because it's too close to the couch now i'm gonna have to move the tv over a little so that the mirror can fit on that side but if I move this, I have to move the, the painting on the wall too. Okay, I think I like the mirror here. Okay. Wait, then like you're taking a picture right in front. Okay. It's not bad. Okay, so I've rearranged a lot, pretty much everything. 
Uh, we did the couch, you guys saw. I'm loving the carpet, so I ended up switching the couch like in this shape because I wanted the carpet to be sticking out from the couch. Like I didn't want the carpet to look smaller than the couch. When done like this, it looks like it's bigger than the couch because, you know, it's sticking out. I think it looks really cute. Um, moved. The little side table used to be over there. Now it's over here. I got Benson's cage here. I'm not, like, super sold on it being there. But honestly, I don't really know where else it would go. So I think I'm going to get, like, a cute little cage cover or, like, even get, like, a cute throw blanket that I would kind of just have, like, always placed over the cage just so it kind of blends better with my decor. Um, TV's still kind of in the same place. I just slid it over. And I'm playing around with, like, this area and that corner because I used to have that over there. And the pompous used to, like, get lit up by the uplight which I liked, but I also kind of like the vase with the pompous here next to the mirror. I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep this here or if I want to put it back in this corner because now this corner is bare too. Like it just, there's like a little nook over here that doesn't have anything. So I don't really know what to put there. I know I want a tall green plant, but I don't know if I would put it in this corner or if I would put it back there. I think I might move this back but i like the mirror where it's at like i want to be centered and i like this better for when i'm like taking photos in this mirror because i'm gonna have the light from the kitchen now um that was another issue with having the mirror on the other side like it was pretty dark i don't have any ceiling lights on this side like i only have um recessed lighting in my kitchen oh and i lit my little tea light candles that's pretty much it for today i'm super pooped from moving all of that furniture and just from shopping earlier i brought my rug upstairs by myself no cart no nothing i was lugging that shit on my shoulder like a strong independent woman but i'm tired now so i'm just gonna relax the benson we're gonna watch some netflix um and chill out like i don't really have anything else that I want to do today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, vloggy vlog. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Your girl's headed to an event for Black Girl Sunscreen this morning. It's like a coffee event. I'm gonna wear a cute little outfit and we're about to get ready. Well, not get ready. I'm already like, I did my hair. I just did my hair. Um, I'm not gonna do any makeup because I don't have any time. My forehead looks huge. It's because I did no baby hairs at the top. It's okay. Um, my hair looks cute. Ciao. Anyway, I'm about to get dressed. So, yeah, let's get dressed. And I think I know what I'm going to wear. So, I got these really cute jeans when I went to um, that styling suite at Soho Warehouse. So, I think I'm going to wear these. But I want to wear a bodysuit with it. I'm like, should I wear a nude bodysuit or should I wear a white? Like, Benson, watch out, Papa. I love you, but you're in the way. Nude or white? Nude or white? Which one? Nude? Oh, you pick nude. Okay. Hey, less. I'm gonna do this nude Zara bodysuit. Let me put this on. Okay. My my camera's gonna die. Okay, that's what the jeans and the bodysuit look like. I could do these nude Zara boots too, but like I wasn't really trying to wear heels. I don't know, these jeans are really cute though. I feel like I like this better. Of course my camera is gonna die. Okay, so I settled on these jeans from Good American, my Jordans, my Nikes. I don't know what the hell these are called. They're so dirty, so I have to clean them. Bodysuit is Zara. I got this really cute bag from Zara the other day. It's giving like Valenci vibes, but not. Ciao, I bought this before the whole. It's not a Valenciaga bag though. It's just, a... it's not. But, um, and then my orange Lorvays. And honestly, the orange clip in my hair 
goes with the glasses, which also goes with the orange. And my pants! So yeah, I think I'm gonna bring my little denim jean jacket just cause it might get a little cold, I don't know. But I don't think I'll need it, honestly. Yeah, this is my fit. Oh, crrr. very cute. Very freaking cute. <laughs> it's the no makeup. Okay, see you guys there. You guys, I just got to the event. I'm late, of course. What's new? <laughs> but it's okay. This parking garage was so far, but. I just got a little lost in the parking garage because it was like really confusing. It's giving 90s. <laughs> Hi. Oh look. So cute. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Black girl sunscreen team. Okay, so there's some new products that they're dropping. Yeah, so we came up with the pumpkin spice scented sunscreen and body spray. So Ooh. It looks so cute. So there's a spray and a body lotion. Oh, a face lotion. Super cute. Pumpkin spice cupcakes. Wow, amazing. And it's black on the coffee shop as well. Oh, we love that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <right now. laughs> Are they chrome tips? Yeah. Wow. So pretty. Thank you. Did you get them done out here? No, I actually did them myself. <gasps> okay. Uh, she's got a hose on there. <laughs> yeah. Definitely do. Have you ever entered our nail dip contest? No. We do like, uh, I'd say like every season we do a contest on Instagram seeing like who can take the best bottle holding pick with like, the oh. flyest nails. Guys, this is a black owned cafe. Which is so cute. It's called Cafe Russo. And they have like really cute things on the menu too. that I went to this morning with black girl sunscreen it was such a cute event like I really loved the space that they ended up having it in it was a black owned cafe and I didn't know that it was super cute I'm definitely gonna be going back over there to get like work done you know you know when you want to just have like an out of office moment like you just want to be in a cafe with a cute little cup of coffee or something and your laptop and just like get work done but like outside like I'm feeling like that's going to be a place that I can do that. So I'm definitely going to be going back over there. It was called Cafe Rousseau in Santa Monica. Super duper cute. The neighborhood is also like really quiet. I was like, oh, okay. I came back home and I ended up doing baby hairs on this install. And I actually ended up doing my makeup for an Instagram reel, which is going to be going up later this week, which I'm also very excited about. It'll probably already be up before you guys see this vlog because I know this vlog is going up next week but like i'm literally obsessed with this wig like it's not even giving a wig honestly it's giving my hair it just looks so natural like even the texture of it it just looks so natural yeah like it's giving i'm obsessed so now really the only other thing i want to do today and it's gonna be such a task i mean i have to edit a vlog so that it can go up tomorrow i'm definitely gonna be doing that but i need to bathe benson and before i bathe him i need to cut his hair yes i do it myself i could take him to a groomer but it's honestly it's honestly just so expensive and you guys know i'm diy queen like 
at the end of the day, if I could do it myself, I'm gonna try and do it so I can save a cute coin, okay? So I bought like a little clipper set off of Amazon that's specifically for pets and I cut his hair. The only issue is that he hates getting his maintenance done. He hates getting his hair cut. He hates getting his nails cut. He hates bathing. He literally hates it all. He's so, my little Capricorn baby, his birthday is January 7th. He's literally the most stubborn little pup, but he's so freaking cute and so lovable. Like, I literally love this dog so much. Like, he's not even a dog. This is my son. He stresses me out, but I love him so freaking much. Look at him with his toy, because he wants to play. He brought the toy to mommy because he wants to play. But I need to give him a bath, and I want to cut his hair, because it's been like, it's been like probably like two, three, maybe even four months since I gave him a haircut. I like his hair long anyway, so I'm not cutting it all the way down, but I need to like reshape it and stuff because it's just getting really long and when it gets really long, it mats really easily. So yeah, but he just hates getting his hair cut. Like he's gonna fight me the whole time. Yeah, so that's the only other thing I need to do today. I mean, I need to do it sometime this week. If I don't do it today, I'm definitely gonna do it tomorrow, but you wanna play so bad. Mommy's trying to vlog. Everyone's always saying how he got so big. And then I had to like, I had to go back and look at like the first videos and photos that I posted of him on social media and he did get a lot bigger, but he's not going to get bigger than this. Like he's supposed to stay this size and he's been this size for, I would say the last like three, four months. He's going to be 11 months old in a couple of days. And I'm very much fine with him being this size because this is like doable for me. Like he's still little compared to other golden doodles that are like full grown because he's a micro um, golden doodle. He's still like very small. Like I see other golden doodles in person and I'm always asking the owner, I'm like, how old is, is he or she? And they'll be like, he's 10 months. He's nine months. He's six months and the dog will be like literally like four times the size of Vincent. I'm like, oh, thank God, because I could not do it. If I had a grown horse walking around this dang apartment, I would have felt like, oh, is it your place or mine? Like, are you paying the bills or me? <laughs> Cause why are you so big? Oh yeah, so I finished the video. I filmed my makeup for Instagram. And now I'm just gonna relax just a little bit because I've been like on the go since I woke up at 8.15 this morning. Also, I don't know what's been going on with me, but I've been having the weirdest dreams and the worst sleep. Like recently, I have not been able to sleep through the night. I literally will wake up at several points throughout the night and I'm usually having like a weird dream and then I wake up from the weird dream and i'm like what the fuck and then i can't go back to sleep and then i finally fall back asleep and then i might do it again like i'm having such irregular sleep and i don't really know what's causing it because my routine really hasn't changed like i haven't really done anything differently if anything i feel like i've been like super on routine so i don't know if it's me are we in retrograde like what's going on is it is it the stars and like the planets and the way they're aligned like what's going on because it's really getting to me i love my sleep i can't i can't be doing this i'm done ranting i'm obsessed with my hair and my makeup <laughs> i'll see you guys later you guys happy wednesday it is wednesday i've been editing for most of the morning but i just threw on clothes because the world cup is on right now and I thought I could watch it at home. Like I thought I could live stream it because I have Amazon Prime and that was like a whole thing. But it turns out I can. So I'm actually about to head to a sports bar or something with my laptop. Gonna continue to edit, but I want to watch the game. Argentina versus Poland is on right now. My mom just called me. She's watching. And we're gonna watch together and like be texting each other and whatnot. My mother is Argentinian if anyone needs that background. But I feel like most people know that. So I literally just threw on... Yeah, I literally just threw on these black leggings that I got off of Amazon and then they're like ribbed and then I have on this black little crop from Zara. I'm gonna throw on some sneakers and like a sweater maybe. And yeah, I'm gonna go sit and get my work done but I'm also gonna watch the game. Like, look at my hair. I just look a mess. Yeah. Let me quickly get myself together since I'm gonna be in public. And I actually really enjoy watching soccer. My mom, like that's like the one sport 
growing up that she would watch. She never really watched anything else. Sometimes the Olympics, like volleyball or tennis or swimming, but not really. Those are more so what I would watch. I know people are gonna be looking at me like, why does this girl care about the game? I had to call them and make sure that they were playing at first before I had it over there. Yeah, I think that's enough for me. I want like a long cardigan. But where are these? These are from Larve. Which style are these? Cry about it. Yeah. These is definitely some shades you could cry and then put them on and nobody would know you was crying. Have y'all ever done that? I've done that before. Wait, I wanted to show you my outfit. I'm sorry. I look so freaking cute. Um, yeah, black, black top, black leggings, these Yeezys. They're like my dad's shoes. I just feel like these are dad's shoes. Crop denim jacket, Forever 21. Bag is Zara. You guys, I made it. I'm at the restaurant. This is Mexico versus, I don't know what the other team is, but Argentina is playing on this screen right here. I ordered a guacamole. I already got chips and salsa for free. And then I got a raspberry chipotle drink. It has tequila in it, of course. I wasn't gonna order a drink, but I was like, why not? Yeah, they kept asking me to, and it's probably because I'm sitting at the bar, but. Yo, girls editing is halftime right now. Uh, yeah, my mom just called me and she was weak at me. She's like, you're so funny, because why did you run out the house to go to a bar and like, watch the game? I'm watching stressed. Argentina has one point though. The other team, Poland, has zero. <laughs> Argentina won. Period. You guys! Oh, happy Thursday. It is Thursday. It's actually 5.46 at night. Okay. I spent the entire morning in front of my computer editing. I don't know why last week's vlog. Well, I know why. I did so much. But last week's weekly vlog was literally over an hour long. And it took me forever to edit. I was supposed to be done by 12, and then I was supposed to be done by 2, and then my computer kept freezing up, and then I was supposed to be done by 3.30, and now it's 5.46. It's literally going up on YouTube right now. Today is day one of Vlogmas, and it's like, should I post it and it just be a late upload, or should I just post it tomorrow? Because I'm not posting every single day for Vlogmas. I'm going to be posting weekly vlogs for Vlogmas, and then just like, just videos in between. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing, because last Last year I did vlogmas and I like I think for the first I want to say like 10 days if I'm not mistaken um, I posted every single day and there definitely was people that tapped in like every single day which I'm super thankful of but when I decided to not post every day and to post weekly vlogs after that those did way better so I personally think that a weekly vlog would be more appealing for you guys and then aside from all of that I forgot that I have an event to go to today it is for benefit cosmetics and it's a holiday party okay so the attire is your fave party pajamas and i have this really cute outfit from savage expensive that i want to wear it's a holiday party and i'm going by myself i'm sure i might see some influencers that i know i go to a lot of events by myself you guys have seen me go to events by myself <laughs> By the way, the party is from 8 to 12. It's 7.47 and just finished my hair. I feel like I can finish my makeup and be out of here by 8.30. It's really like 20 minutes away. It's not even that bad. If there's one thing I'm going to do is twerk. I don't know. Like That's the only kind of dancing I know how to do. That and dance like a nigga. Like, I don't know how to like dance it. But like, I know how to throw this ass. And when I want to be a nigga, like a gangster, like, <laughs> no, that was me. <laughs> That was gonna hurt. I'm doing my makeup. It's 8.06. That's the tinted moisturizer. This one, pop. This one for joy. 
deuce. I ain't the one. Bitch, you a deuce. Brows. I really love this Ami Cole brow pencil. On point precision brow pencil in the shade medium brown. Can I just see my lashes? Wow. I'm so pretty. Thank, thank you, God. Please, thank you, God. Sometimes you just have to thank God. Like, shout out to my parents. Like, this lip is so cute, but like, I can't take this with me. Like, I'm not taking this whole fucking palette. So, like, how am I gonna touch this? I'm gonna take this pixie. that did it for me okay makeup in here is done i'm about to get dressed i literally could not figure out what i wanted to wear i tried on three outfits and ended up posting like a little like thing on my close friends and was like y'all help me like what should i wear i told them it's a pajama themed party holiday party and then i posted the three outfits and everyone's surprisingly i thought everyone's gonna vote for the first one but everyone's voted for the second one so i think i'm gonna wear the second one like i didn't even recrimp my hair that um, bio silk really did what it needed to do. Yeah, so I'm about to put on the outfit that everyone is voting for. Okay, I need to get dressed. Let me get dressed. I used to fuck with you, and that's why I had to break the bag. This shit, cause who fuck rocket like me? No bra tight, tight sleep, back ponytail, feeling like I'm ice. But yeah, this is what everyone voted for. Y'all don't know what the other outfits were, but like, it's so short. Because I was this close to not going. <laughs> this is what I ended up choosing. Um, the green dress is, it actually is a dress. It's just very short. Green dress is from Savage X Fenty. The white boots are from Pearl Um, And the jacket is from Zara. And it's actually reversible. It's a bomber material on the inside. And I just like the texture. And wear it off of one shoulder. And I'm just going to have to pull my dress down a million times but that's okay this is what we're working with i'm gonna be like and then i want to go out afterwards like i can't tell if i'm bugging or not i'm just gonna say fuck it and i'm just gonna do it and if this is one of my worst fits this is one of my worst fits like i don't know what to all the way to the back. Shanice is here! <laughs> We're back! <laughs> Shanice literally flew in this morning. She's gonna be here for like no time. She's gonna blink and she's gonna be gone. But she's here for two seconds. She has an event to go to. We're gonna go to it together later on. But right now we're actually gonna go to lunch. Happy Tuesday! It is Tuesday! I literally just threw on this little fit. I... I have on my Bottegas and this Ivy Park little cropped sweater mold. That's what I'm wearing. But yeah, we're about to go to lunch. So see you there. You guys. 
we just got to Manuela DTLA. So this is like brunch and lunch right now until I think 2.30 at five is the dinner menu. We got here just in time because it's like a little after one and I really wanted breakfast because I haven't had anything to eat today. And I've actually never been inside of this little market area. It's in here. And then the restaurant is this way. The brunch is actually only available on the weekends. We're kind of sad about that because we were looking at the brunch menu. But there are still some great things on this menu. So I'm thinking about getting there's a fried chicken sandwich. That's the cornbread. My coffee is so yummy. It's literally so yummy. Yeah, my coffee has a double shot of espresso in it. And it came at the perfect temperature. You know how you get coffee sometimes and it's like too hot to drink right away? Okay, we can cut our open. That corvette was a mess. We're back home and I'm about to do Shanice's makeup. We're doing light, a light beat. Remember when we used to go out in LA and not wear any makeup? Yeah, child, I still be doing that. We would be in the in the parties, in the clubs, no makeup, <laughs> still bad bitches. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that was a time. That was really an era. It was. That was like a very specific point in time. I know. <laughs> What's this? Blush. Wow, Whatever. this is interesting packaging. So tired. But Jasmine's gonna wake me up. You guys, I got all ready. This is my little outfit. Me and Shanice are twinning with our matching jackets. And we're ready to go. Oh, period. Wait, wait, wait. I'm loving. Yes. Very cute. Period. Let's go. You guys, we just got to the movie premiere. So it's a movie premiere for a movie that's coming out. <laughs> It has a bunch of people in it. Some popcorn. Thank you. <laughs> Next, we have Gail Rankin, who plays Margaret Lamb. Next, Miss Mallory Johnson, who plays Dana James. Woo! Pleasure to see you all. We don't know if you can hear the audience as they're watching the series, but we love it. We are into it. So I want to first congratulate you already. On we just finished watching the screening. It was yeah, so good. Like, so good. I actually really want to watch that show. Like, I was like on the edge of my seat. I'm like, yeah. It was really good. Yeah. It drops on Hulu on December 13th, which is literally like next week. So I'm definitely gonna be watching it. First episode was crazy from the second it started. Like it literally started crazy. Yeah, like crazy. I was like, damn, we just jumping right into it. But it was really good. No, no, it was really, really good. So yeah. 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 
Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. I just dropped Shanice at the airport. I just dropped Shanice at the airport. She's about to change her shoes. Shanice is leaving. You were here for like two seconds. I know. Oh. I should have stayed like overnight so we could like go somewhere. Yeah. It's okay. She'll be back. She'll definitely, most 100% thousand, be back.